Huh. Cloudy and windy. Which way is the wind? Wind's blowing out of the south southwest. Just about there. Just about dry. Hey, good morning everybody. This is Organic Dairyman. Today is Monday, November 25th today. So I hope your guys' day is off to a good start or did go good. Um, I'm just sitting here in the granary. I'm just weighing some stuff out while my brother gets the cows in and uh, Yeah, as you can see it's a nice cloudy day out and uh, So what do we got going on here today? Or what are we going to be doing today? Or what are we going to be hoping to do today? That should be the, the bigger the big question is anyways, obviously um, like I mentioned yesterday We're going to try to finish bailing those corn stalks. My brother's got about I think he's got two more rounds of, of um, or two, or four more windrows that he wants to bail for round bales, and then the rest we're gonna try to square bail, square bail two, <coughs> two small, or how do I want to say this? We're gonna try to small square two loads of bales, or small squares of bale, bale loads, anyways, for the, um, just for bedding and stuff. So, and then obviously, like you saw the corn, um, there's still some, some wet pockets in the bin of my cousin's corn. I think, you know, today is going to be the last day. Tomorrow the corn has to come out of there. Even if there's a little bit of wet stuff, it will just have to mix in. But, um, I don't know, they're talking. Possibly, maybe some significant snow here at, towards the end of the week. I don't know if Thanksgiving Day or Friday when it's going to be. But... So we need to get our corn or his corn out of there so we can get some of our corn in there. We like to start drying that down. So well, it is what it is. And I don't know, we haven't, we got to call and see about getting that, that grain cleaner. We might not get it today. Probably for sure tomorrow we'll get it. So, but I don't know, the whole drying corn down for my cousins is just it's kind of a too, too stressful of a deal, I hope. I really hope that one of them, guy, my cousins, they invest in a, some sort of an air, an aeration floor in the grain bin. I know my one cousin that he did come over. He did buy a batch dryer. It's just one of those older batch dryers. You could dry down 400 bushels. He bought that, but you know he's got to get that rigged up for propane yet. And he just got it. I don't know the other day, and he's he's trying to dry some corn down without propane on it, and it just it ain't working right or whatever. Of course you got to have heat with those things it just ain't gonna work unless you hook them up to propane but I mean if he could get that going make that work for next year for his operation that'd be great because then it saves a lot of stress on us I mean we're ready to go on our end but you know we're just trying to help him out and it's just kind of stressful I don't want to do that again next year but anyways we're gonna see what we get down here today and see what else comes up and happens during the day What the heck is this crappy junk food doing in here? Ah. Why does anybody want to eat that crap? Who puts that crap in here? I don't know. Huh. Well, anyways, guys, I am, uh, I'm gonna go, uh, um, I gotta put some hay on the feeder wagon for the uh, milk cows. We're gonna go feed the milk cows. And then we are going to, uh, um, go bale some corn, some small square corn stock bales. I could say that right. That's what we're gonna bale. 
but uh, yeah so uh, yep That's what we're gonna do but you know, I'm not gonna throw those chips out <laughs> just playing with you guys I ain't gonna do that it's just uh, dramatizing the video there for you <laughs> but yeah so anyways um that's what we're gonna do here in a little bit is feed the cows brother's gonna let them out and then we're gonna bale two small or two two loads of small square bales of corn stalks is that it right <laughs> This thing works bailing cornstalk bales. I can't say that right now. Oh. Okay, I'm just riding out here in my truck. Well, partially because if we have any trouble, we can run back home quick. I'm just following my brother. We gotta hook up the hay rack. And the other reason is too, is because my cousin, he's gonna come over and use our combine to combine some of his, another field of, a small field of corn that he has. So. Oh, uh, let's see where they're going. Are they gonna go hook up to this little rack? Oh. But anyways, yeah, that's what he's gonna do. So I, I gotta start to drive back up there and start the combine up. When he comes, I guess he's gonna take his corn and he's gonna put it in one of his bins back at home. So, I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the wind. Whoosh. Yep, so here we go. Here we go and bail some corn stock. Small square corn stock bale. That's a tough thing to say. It's 
a bunch of trouble here. My brother slugged it right when it was ready to tie a bale. Good to go. The bail and we'll clean this out. Going first gear. Is it good? Should be good to go, I hope. Uh, we sheared about, I think, five or six shear pins. This, that was tough to figure it out, but we got to figure it out. So we'll find out here if it works. So. There it goes. It's like we're in business. Yep. I guess it didn't work to uh, to bail all those cornstalk bales. It just didn't work. So I just had to clean a part of a bale out of the back of the baler so we could back the baler in all the way. So it just didn't work. That baler just can't handle those cornstalk bales. We just kept shearing pins. Oh, we use there's only one shear pin left. So we decided we better quit while we're ahead. It's just way too much material to feed into the baler. So it just isn't worth it. We got about, I don't know, maybe a dozen, a dozen or so small squares. So it's all we tried. It's all you can do. So we got to go bring this hay rack back up the top of the hill. And then uh, my brother's going to go back out and round bale some more. At least that's the plan. to get moved out of my way yeah. okay we're chipping away at the feeding chores it's got a uh, the dry cows and load from milk cows Whew. and my cousin still hasn't come over to get the cow mine yet I don't know what he's got going on don't ask probably don't even want to know what he's trying to do with he was going to combine his other field today, but I don't know if he's going to make it or not. He's caught up with something else. I don't know. <laughs> so, <sighs> yeah.
Okay guys, what are we doing? We got some corn on the gravity box up there, if you can see that. That we want to put in this hopper bottom bin. Just temporary storage. And so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing here right now. Guiding my brother in. We're trying to get this straight back. Almost there. Okay, good. Okay, we got it in there. That's what we're gonna do. And load that corn on that gravity box because we won't need that um, to put some screenings on when we get our grain cleaner. So that's what we're up to right now. We'll do this. Sylvester's come to help again. <laughs> Okay, got this set in here for tomorrow. So, so when my cousin, he comes over tomorrow in the morning, he wants to come over at first light and start taking some corn out of here. So, at least it's here. But anyways, I gotta take a gravity box up to, the one we just emptied out, I gotta take it up to the field up there so that it's ready to go. And I'll explain here in a little bit what's going on with that. Sylvester came along again. Come on, Sylvester, you gotta come out of there. You can't stay in there. No, 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 no. Gotta come. Oh. Sylvester would stay in there all night if he could. He loves it in that tractor. <laughs> so, okay, anyways, what are, what is gonna, um, what our plan is for tomorrow. Oh, you guys are a little bit dusty there. Let me clean you off for a second. Okay, anyways, what our plan is for tomorrow is my cousin, he's gonna come over first light uh, early in the morning and he's gonna come over and start unloading corn, taking corn out of the bin. We got it set up here. He's gonna put his tractor on there. Then, obviously, we're gonna milk the cows and then 
well go out and combine that corn that's in the field where it's down we want to get that combine where it snows and we do we do not have that grain cleaner thing that screening thing yet um, I don't know if we'll get it done in time but the biggest thing we want to do before it snows is at least get that one field combine that has down corn because otherwise we'll never get it and we're only, they're talking anywhere from three to five inches of snow maybe tomorrow so it's not going to be a lot but tomorrow afternoon anyways but we'll see we'll see what the weather people you never know you know how inaccurate they can be sometimes but. so that's what we're gonna do so and uh we got my brother got the round belly put away we got 60 some small round bales so that'll be enough for us for the what we need for the winter too bad the small square things didn't work but oh well we could always you know use some of those big round bales for extra bedding just peel a bit peel some stuff off a bale and use it for the calves or whatever if we have to so as long as it's as long as it's rolled up and it's in a bale that's good but and i guess i'm not been there i just turned up the heat a little bit too on there to get a little more moisture out of there so i'm just gonna before i go up to bed here tonight it's probably late i'm gonna shut the burner off leave the fan and let it chill the corn down and it's, it's got to come out of there it's the way it is the way it is we, we gotta we gotta get our corn i mean we're obviously not gonna get our time to get our corn in there that we just just not gonna have time we're just you know, whatever that fits <clears throat> whatever if we could fit that one field and all the gravity boxes back them in the shed then when it you know when we get that cleaner thing we'll get it in the bin but we got to get my cousin's corn out of the bin so that way when it, like wednesday we can hopefully get our corn in there so it is what it is so anyways that's it for today guys and have a good evening good night and take care and thanks for watching i hope you enjoy the video so i will catch you later